Today we're going to take a look at the Everyday Matters 2019 Diary. Um, please ignore Barkley in the background. She's not being the best. Um, so I'm just sort of going to walk through the PDF instead of um, what I've done in the past, which is flip through the diary because I think you can see it a little bit better. And I'll probably put in something at the end showing what they look like physically. So if you want to know about that... Um, you can see that you can also see it on Amazon and the links will be down below. Um, so if you're not familiar with the diary, basically each month has a theme. You'll see here for January, it's mindfulness and it comes with um, an affirmation at the beginning of each month and a paragraph sort of talking about what will be going on throughout the month and sort of what the focus is. Um, and also each month has a unique illustration that you'll see carried throughout. See here you see the um, little lotus flowers. Um, so when it comes to the weekly spreads, um, each week has a quote at the top and then um, you also will see a little activity at the bottom that is either something that you can write down um, in the back or something that you'll actually do that relates to both the quote at the top of the page and the theme of the month. And you will also see the style, the layout. A lot of people ask me about what the layout looks like on the inside. This is what it looks like. I love it because I love making lists. So this is so great for doing a checklist if you wanna write down to-do list. Or um, what I like to do with it is I like to make this a gratitude journal. And so each day um, I will write down things that I'm grateful for. Um, yeah on the lines here and then it's nice kind of also because Saturday and Sunday I'm generally more busy and so I don't have as much time to write as much so it works out perfectly um, with having Saturday and Sunday having fewer lines than the other days. Um, so I'm just scrolling through now. Okay so here is what is at the end of every month. You'll see the calendar um, for that month. Then it's a gratitude journal in some ways. It You can write what you're grateful for on the lines. And then there are questions, three questions for each month that relate to the topic of the month um, so that you can kind of reflect before moving on to the next theme. You can reflect a little bit about what you were working on that month. For example, in January, you were working on mindfulness. Um, so this is February's theme of wonder. So now that you sort of have the general idea of what each one looks like, um, I'm just gonna sort of go through quickly so we can see, um, again, you'll see the calendars the same, You've got the reflections on wonder since that was the theme of the month. I'm gonna scroll through and we can see what the themes are for the whole year. So March is creativity. We've got the lovely little palm fronds here. Um, and each week has a creativity themed quote and exercise. Then we get down to the March overview. April's theme is vision. And I just like this tree and the idea of looking up. Um, we've got the affirmation, the explanation of vision and sort of what I was thinking when I came up with that topic. And you'll see throughout, there's little bits of illustration that go with the monthly spread. So you see the little trees here, the little leaves as we go through. And then again, we come to the overview for the month. And this one, the next one, May, Bravery, is one of my favorite designs. Like, just makes me think of the, um, what are they called? Arroyo, oh, no, Aurora Borealis. Um, the sort of lights in the sky, which I've always really wanted to see. Um, so that is what inspired that and also just sort of looks like little stars. So that is the theme for bravery. And I generally try to, and you'll see if you read these, um, the paragraphs that go with them, I try to make the illustration in some way work with the concept, the theme, bravery. Um, and you'll see I kind of incorporate that throughout. Um, I love how this has, it's, it's kind of hard doing this this way because I'm pointing to things, but you guys can't see it. Um, so we'll see how this way goes if you guys prefer it. I think you can see better than when I'm flipping through it, but it also might be awkward because you can't see what I'm referring to. Hopefully you can get the gist though. So again, we've got the quotes that go with bravery, the activities that go with it. Um, 
And you'll also notice that there are holidays such as like Memorial Day and um, Ascension Day. They're also mentioned throughout so you can kind of keep track of your holidays if you like to stay on top of those. Um, so again, we have the area for gratitude and reflecting on the topic of the month, which was bravery. This is another one of my favorites. I feel like every year that I do this, when I'm talking about the video, I get excited. I kind of forget because I do these so far in advance. I forget what the illustrations are and I'm like, ooh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. But I do feel like this definitely conveys a positive vibe with the bright teal and yellow. And of course, the lemons and lemonade concept always make me think of Beyonce, which in my mind is a very positive thing. Um, so again, same thing. We've got the quotes, we've got the activities, and the little illustrations to sort of give it some character. And also, I don't think I mentioned, but there is a little notes area as well on each weekly spread. Um, so if you have some notes or things you want to jot down that don't fit on each day, you have spot to do that. Um, then we have the reflections on positivity and the gratitude area in July. The theme for that is purpose, and I love these little flowers and little bees. We have the affirmation for the month, the quotes, little illustrations. I'm also trying not to go through too fast because I think when I scroll through this PDF really fast, um, it tends to, the pages will come up white because it's like loading them. Then for August, we have, I don't know if I can, I don't know what this thing is down here. Oh, there we go. Got rid of that thing at the bottom that was taking up a little space. This one, um, my birth month, August, is sort of a very fresh vibe with these tropical looking flowers and um, leaves. And the theme is truth. We've got the affirmation. Um, we also have the quotes. And I love how the orange and the green kind of work together. Um, I really like that color combination. So I also have the little illustrations throughout. I really do think, oh, see, there's like the white page because I was scrolling too fast. Um, I really do think that the little illustrations help to tie everything together and just kind of keep you focused on whatever the theme is because when you read the paragraph at the beginning, you sort of see how the illustration ties into the theme. And then it kind of keeps it in mind as well as like the quotes and um, the activities throughout the month. Um, so September is acceptance and we have this beautiful little berry design. Um, we've got the affirmation here and we do have some quotes. And if you've been using the Everyday Matters diary for years, you'll notice that the fonts are a little bit different this year. We've decided to make some little updates, so if you're not really into fonts, you might not notice that at all, but um, for somebody like me, who's a designer, um, it's a nice little change and sort of freshens up the look. Um, since I have been doing this for so many years now, it's literally my favorite project that I work on each year. Then we come to the September overview. You get to reflect a little bit on acceptance. And I really, like having done this so many years, I think it's so useful to have this little reflection area at the end of each month because, you know, at the beginning of the month, you're sort of all into the theme. And as it goes on, you know, it becomes less of a focus. I think that's just kind of the way it is. But it really ties everything up at the end when you have the opportunity to reflect on what you've thought about and learned um, throughout the month. So October, we have the theme of empowerment and we have the paragraph and the affirmation and I really like these sort of fun orangey clouds and the waves that I've drawn at the bottom and you'll see those of course throughout the month and I love how the orange um, kind of gives it a nice pop and I don't know something about orange and yellow and those um, kind of warm sunny colors really speak to me when it comes to the word empowerment so that's why we sort of went with that theme and there we are with the October overview and the reflections. And joyfulness is the theme for November. And we've got the paragraph here, the affirmation for the month. Um, kind of a tropical theme for this one. We've got more of the tropical flowers and leaves that kind of give off that feel as well as the bright, joyful colors, which is why we picked those because they really go with the theme. And we've got the wonderful quotes here. Also, if you're not familiar, I do have 
the name of the person who said the quote, who they are, um, as well as their birth and death years, if that's um, applicable, if they're not still alive. And yeah, I just, I really love, like, I'm scrolling through this again, like, for the first time in a while, and I just really love how it turned out. I really, I was a little hesitant, I think, with the font changes, because I am a creature of habit, and I kind of like things to stay the same, but I really think they turned out really beautiful, and they look really good together, and they give it sort of a fresh look, but keep sort of the same, um, I don't know if you can hear Barkley, but trying to work on this with her and she's not very well behaved um so the theme for december the last month is resilience and i really love the succulent vibe here and the bright colors that kind of contrast with the darker um and you know more i guess teal and purple colors they really shine against the bright yellow background um <laughs> Barkley also likes them. So we've got the quotes here, the activities, all of them focusing on resilience, which I chose for the last month because I always feel like December is kind of a lot. There's usually a lot going on. You're reflecting on the year that has passed, the year that is coming up. And with the holidays and everything, there's always, it, it's usually a crazy month for a lot of people, so I thought that that was a really appropriate theme to sort of end the year on um, and give everyone, you know, something to focus on that would start the year off right as we go into, crazy as it is, a new decade of 2020 at the end of this 2019 diary. Um, and so we have the final calendar, the reflections on resilience, this month I'm grateful for, um, and I love how these questions sort of talk about the next decade and the year to come, as well as the year that's passed, so you kind of have an opportunity to reflect there. Then we have, as we always do, the note from the author. There's my little signature. And then we have the notes section, which is great because um, some of the activities throughout the year um, suggest writing things down, and it's nice to have a place right in the diary where you can do that. I mean, obviously, you could do a separate notebook um, if you wanted to, but... Um, yeah, I think it turned out really well and I'm really excited about it and I will try to include in some way um, the, um, maybe I'll do part of the video, I'll show them the size or I'll show you um, images that sort of have a reference um, with the exact dimensions so that you know whether you might want the pocket version or the desk version. Um, I just personally like the desk version. Um, I have really big handwriting, so um, it works better for me. Plus, I work at home, so I'm not on the go. But, for example, my mom loves the um, smaller pocket version because she likes to take it with her. Um, so it really depends sort of on your lifestyle and your preference. But they do look identical on the inside. The only difference is um, the desk version is spiral bound and the pocket version is not. And you'll see that in the images that I'll include here. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about the diary, um, it, you know, any specific detailed questions or anything, let me know. I will link down below where you can buy it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'm really excited about this version and I hope that you guys will love it as much as you've loved all the other versions. I really appreciate your support and excitement about them. It makes me feel great and I love using it personally. So it's really cool that I get to design it and share it with other people. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.